Wait, was it bad day, son? I'm not wearing pants. We need pants for It's your birthday. Yeah, but how excited are you for our adventure? I'm really tired. Today is November 14th, which means that it is Ryan's birthday. Yes. What is this? Happy birthday. You really made this. It I is did. freezing cold and soaking wet. <laughs> we are going to go basically do all of my favorite things. That means spearfishing, hunting, hanging out with Sam, seeing Justin later for dinner, and starting off the day with one of my favorite foods, breakfast, bacon wrapped in pancakes. Let's go. Sam is basically a professional lay maker, guys. Like how crazy is this that she is now, she made this one and now she's making this one. Basically Hawaiian. I'm just kidding. I could never. We're cruising north now up to kind of one of my favorite kind of areas of the island that we definitely do not get to dive very often. You know, super far away, a lot of times weather's a little bit rough up there, it's a little windy. It is potentially like the ugliest day we've had in months. So I have no idea if it's gonna be diveable. We may just end up going for a nice scenic tour all day. Sam Graham, what kind of fish are you looking for today? I would like a nice medium sized uku. I have not been spearfishing in like a month, it's maybe more. But I have a secret weapon today. Guys, I brought chum for like the first time ever. I just recently did a trip out to Oahu and we chummed up some ukus and I was pretty stunned by how effective it was. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna do it, it's my birthday. Let's get some chum and let's go drop it in some of these zones that I'm kind of always shooting ukus at. And maybe they'll come up nice and shallow and easy and Sam are gonna have to shoot one. Maybe there'll be some onos around. I gotta take this moment to tell you about our merch drop. Sweaters, women's tank tops, performance long sleeve shirts, performance hoodies, hats. It's gonna be dropping on the 22nd. We're gonna ship them out in time for Christmas. So if we taught you anything at all on this channel, if you've enjoyed it, if you wanna support the dream, go over there, help us out. Look at this thing! Check it out! Wow! I am so impressed. We're gonna drive. We'll see you guys up there. I'm not sure how much of the shoreline we're gonna show you. Try and be respectful, kind of hide these spots a little bit. See you guys up there. How are you feeling, Sam and Graham? What do you think about the situation? Ryan wants me to get in where it's really, really swally, which is fine. Getting in is fine, but getting out, I think it's up. Like, can't we just find a better spot? Do you want fish or no? I don't really care. Wow. Whose birthday is it? You gotta get off the beaten path. Is that what you want? You want me to die on your birthday? Sam, have I ever put you in danger? Yes. It's a little swelly pie, but it's not bad. I don't think it's bad at all. Like if you're far away and it looks big, then it's gonna be even bigger when you get right next to it. Samogram so. has turned kind of soft in the last two years. No, I've just been hurt so many times by your poor decisions. My poor decisions? That I have to protect myself now. Sam got all fancy like, she got a boat, now she lost her wildcat abilities of scampering up cliffs and timing the swells and getting rolled up into Ryan, my boat is harder to get in and out of than anything else. Sam or Graham did not love that last spot, which is perfectly fine because you do need to kind of take into consideration your dive partner and kind of dive at their abilities. I thought it was perfectly fine, but Sam or Graham did not love it. So we've moved around the corner and then I found another diver and I saw he was coming out, I talked to some of those kids, and they told me, you know, I, which way the current's going kind of confirmed for me. So now that's kind of one of my favorite situations because I can walk about two miles up current, jump in with all my stuff, swim out to hundred feet of water, and then do my nice long drift without ever swimming at all. And I can put my car at my exit point. So now all I have to do is cruise along with the current and get out right when I see my car, throw my six Onos and four Ukus right up into my cooler, drive off and have another rest of the epic birthday day. So we're gonna suit up right now and then we'll see you guys in the water. So we had a really, really long swim out to kind of where I wanted to be. And I never actually made it there before Sam was like, Ryan, I'm too tired, stop, I don't know where you're going. And I was like, okay, well, I guess we're going right here. So I just started dropping chunks right there and immediately these little school of shibis or small ahis or, or tunas came cruising right along up the, up the reef. 
and they, for the first time ever, I mean, I've seen them here multiple times, but for the first time I actually had chunks down and they just came straight through, started mowing on the chunks, and then one of them kind of stuck around. And you'll see how I do multiple dives here because I really do not want to scare this thing away. Like he's there, he's eating my food, I've got him. You know, it, it's he's mine unless I screwed this up, basically. So as calmly as I can, I'm kind of doing my little dives, trying to line it up, trying to pick out a chunk and trying to anticipate exactly where he's gonna go so that I can have my gun there and ready to pull that trigger and make this fish happen. As you can see here again, he's cruising in, he's hitting those chunks. I'm being so patient, like I'm on the surface, I'm waiting, I'm taking my time, and then slow little descent, and I'm predicting kind of where this guy's gonna go. And right here, he's cruising along, and then he makes this one little mistake, and he's almost maybe sorta mine, if only I can land him. So it was only about like a minute 30 until I had this thing kind of moving real slow and in range of a second shot if I had a second gun. You know, there would have been no big deal to, for anybody else to have swam down and stuck this fish again and secured it. But me and Sam love to dive with one gun. We do it all the time. We've done it all over the world. It just makes everything easier. We pass it back and forth and it's no big deal. But today I would have done anything to have a second gun because I was so terrified of losing this fish. Like as soon as I got this close to it, I could tell, I was like, it's got, it's just barely there. Like it's just barely hanging on right there in the skin of the tail. This thing is not bleeding at all. I'm trying to remember if I can drag the thing backwards, if that'll kill it. You know, I don't know if, if pulling it back through the current will kill it. I, I have no idea what's going on. All I'm doing is freaking out that I was gonna be this close to a sushi feast and then lose it because we only brought one gun like, like a couple kooks. So my main goal is to keep this thing attached for as long as I possibly can. You know, it's kind of one of those things like you think about like a fishing line, you know, you're not killing that fish when you hook it. You're just grabbing a hold of it and then pulling it in until you can get close enough and then secure it with a gaff or pull it in the boat. And it's kind of the same mentality I had here where like I'm using my hands to control the drag and, and play this thing as carefully as possible because again, it is mine to screw up at this point. All I gotta do is hold onto that string just a little bit too hard, and that, that little piece of skin there is gonna rip out and it's gonna be gone. So I've got my knife in that right hand, and I'm basically just moving as slowly as I can to get down and see if I can get close to it. And I've killed a lot of these tunas all over the world, and you always second shoot them, and sometimes you shoot them three times, and then you grab them, and sometimes they still go crazy in your hands. So a fish of this size is no small thing to grab when it's 100% full of life right now. This thing is totally green. So my main goal was to fight this thing as slowly and as carefully as possible and do my absolute best to land it. Over and over and over, I kept bringing this thing up. He would zip off, and then I would bring it all the way back in, and I'd be so close, but didn't quite have it. And every time it was like, I looked at that little piece of skin, and it was like it was getting more and more open, that little wound there, and I was just, I was freaking terrified. But I refused to horse this thing, and I was so careful. I had that knife coming up over the head, and that was kind of my plan, was I was gonna kind of dig in that knife from the top instead of trying to grab those tails, because I figured if I try to grab that tail, that thing is just gonna beat off of me. It's gonna, it's gonna kick away from me. 
and uh, and I'm gonna lose the whole thing and rip the fish off at the same time, and I'm gonna have to watch this beautiful creature just swim off into the into the depths. Eventually I started swimming backwards with the thing, just swimming it back to shore. Cause now we're drifting too far. We're kind of out in deeper water. And I'm like, I need to, maybe I'll just drag this thing back to shore. Who knows, maybe it'll die along the way. But while I was doing that, you could tell that it was, it was pretty worn out at that point. And I was able to get down there, grab it by the tail, secure the thing, and then never been so stoked in my life about a fish. shot it again it would have been no problem but man i could not believe i landed that thing just barely in the tail played him so soft i was like just dragging him backwards as long as i could hoping he's getting weaker and weaker and weaker which is exactly what happened he got so tired that i could grab him unfreaking believable for a short dive that's some birthday luck right there i have never felt so useless in my entire life <laughs> ever Happy birthday. You were perfect. What are we doing? Sashimi party, sushi party. <laughs> what do we do now? Now we tie it to the float and get another one. Oh my God. Yes. We still got jump. We were getting closer and closer to our truck, so I was just dropping chum as fast as I could, and I was really expecting to see some ukus out here. And we did have one, it kind of came in, it was eating some of those chunks, and I dove all the way to the bottom and kind of did my scratching, did my grunting, to try and get him to come over to me, but for whatever reason, he didn't want to play at all, which honestly was just fine because we had plenty of fish, and it was time for our second mission of the day. Well, you ready to go home? That was just absolutely freaking nuts. I felt like keeping the way it was, maybe he wouldn't come out, you know, like I'd be okay. I could just hold him and he'd get more and more and more tired. Unfortunately, like he wasn't bleeding at all. Normally you could just like wait until he like bled out and got like weaker and weaker, but I just barely nicked him. So he wasn't bleeding. So I was like, I just have to play this thing so softly until he's tired enough that I can get in there with a knife or get in there and grab him. And I've just seen him, I've seen him in Panama so many times, just come back to life and just wreck your world when you try and grab these things. So. I just unbelievably patient there, just kept playing him so softly, but so afraid. And it freaking worked! What? Birthday, shore dive, freaking Shibi. On the Pathos 110! Had a fantastic birthday lunch there. Now are we off for our second part of our mission? Uh, How are you? Sleepy. Sam Graham needs to wake up because this will be her first hunt ever with me. I've been trying to get her hunting with me forever and she refuses to do it. And I was like, you know what? It's my birthday. You gotta do whatever I want. We're going hunting. I just don't see why I need to go for a hunt. In the ocean I provide, I mean today I was useless, but like in other situations I might be like a safety or just like, I don't know, safety. <laughs> I don't really know why I need to go hunting. Because you enjoy walking in the woods, hanging out with me. I'm gonna need a nap. Ten help. Do you think, how many roaches do you think crawled into this while we were gone? Do you think I can still drink it? <laughs> oh, am I gonna stay awake? Serenaded? Yeah, I'm getting serenaded by Al. It's like car safari. 
Elle sings to us, and I open gates. The other ball, you can see it. It's the ball, yeah, they're dropping. They're dropping up. So when the guavas are dropping, we're trying to hunt underneath the guavas, but that's another spot that we would look at. Was he complaining when he came home Friday night? He couldn't even quite exist. He got into bed and he never got out of bed again. <laughs> <laughs> he just demanded things. Can you get my phone off the couch? Can you bring me some ice cream? What's going on? There's a million cows around. And the cows make it really, really hard to get close because the cows kind of see you a million miles away and then run off. So there's at least three, four pigs down here, but they're like on the other side of the cows. So he's probably gonna check this out real quick. He's coming back now. He, we're getting out of here. What do you think, Elle? He's coming back. He's coming back? Guys, I yeah. guarantee that Elle has a cooler camo than you do. What you got? Elle, do you like hunting? standing still. He's coming right to you. Get ready. Did you close? You're right there. Shoot. Did he not see it? I think he's range trying to move Is it down? What? Yeah. Are you serious? Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> um, go shot a pig. We're gonna go get it now. No cares in the world, I guess. How's that birthday look right there? Skinny little sour? What? <laughs> You're ready. Skinny little sour, but. You're ready. Let's go back up. Come on. We still got some daylight. This is the skinniest sour. Of <laughs> right there, armpit. But couldn't, couldn't range find it. I figured he was 20 or 30, so I just put it between them. We split up. Justin gave me his truck. I don't know if this is a good idea or a bad idea. It's just me and Sam. We are on the hunt for another piggy. What do you think about hunting so far, Sam? Um, it's okay. It's fine. Tell me about it. I feel useless. What do you mean? I'm just like drive, riding around in a car. That's it? That's, it's called hunting. I like diving better. Oh, she likes diving better, guys. Uh, I'm ready for a duck.
Oh, I hate this. Oh my god. It's okay, it's okay. No, it's not. Maybe down right there. Ow. How sick was that freaking hunt? Are you okay? That was the worst noise I've ever heard in my life. Sam, this is where your meat comes from. I understand, and I'm very grateful. It's still moving, and I'm very, can you just go? It's down, it's down, it's down. It's in its last couple throws. Is it okay? And I'm not anti-hunting, I'm just anti-myself hunting. <laughs> On my birthday, I cannot miss. I cannot miss. How sick was that? You okay? Can you do something? Can you help him? You know, as a hunter, like, we don't take any joy in, like, killing something. But, like, that is the way of the world. Beautiful pig. Probably, without a doubt, my biggest boar ever. I'm gonna clean this guy up. I'm gonna go find Justin. I don't know where he is. Unbelievable birthday day. I could not miss it. Two arrows, two pigs, one shot of the gun, one tuna. Might have been that lucky lay Sam made me. I don't know, but unbelievable birthday. Check out this tuna, guys. I swear it keeps getting bigger. We had this thing on a brine for like the last three days? I don't know. It's been a whirlwind week, but I'm gonna cut this thing up. We're doing a sushi party. It's gonna be ridiculous. all over my world. More importantly, the best spot. Why though? Because I needed a place to put it and I was out of out of hands. There he is. Happy birthday.